Happening now, many Arkansans waking up to see the aftermath of the severe storms. Now, some people are without power, some dealing with downed trees, and unfortunately, some are dealing with both of those things. Journey Taylor is live in Conway to show us what is happening in Faulkner County. Journey. Yeah, good morning, Karen and Hayden. Waking up to assess that damage is an understatement. Now that the sun is starting to come up, we're starting to get a little bit more day, uh, daylight. We've been seeing a lot more people out walking here along Lee Street. That's right next to Ida Burns Elementary here in Conway. I want to move out the way uh, so you guys can see this tree that's down behind me uh, split in two places. You're talking about some high winds here and this tree barely and I mean barely missing the top of this home. Uh, so we definitely have seen a a lot of like trees down in the roads, uh, cars just getting around as much as they can as several blocks are blocked off here on Lee Street. Now we were here last night. We did get a chance to speak to Mayor Bart Castleberry Sunday evening and he says after that storm moved through, they set up an emergency operations center that included police, fire, the city street department and Conway Corporation. The mayor says they are able to cut down on lag time here in the city due to how their dispatch system is set up. All of the operations or operators can hear the calls as they come into 911 and can immediately talk face to face on where crews should be dispatched. Now this truly helped as they were looking to make sure those in the community were safe. So far we've had one minor injury. Uh, that, that's a blessing in itself. There, there is quite a bit of damage, like I said, to uh, houses uh, from trees falling. But we were very blessed that there were not more injuries with this. But if ever want to be patient, uh, Conway Corp will get the power restored. We're going to work on getting streets open tonight, and then we will start working on debris removal and cleanup. So as he says, getting the power restored is, of course, one of the first priorities. We've already seen at least one truck from Conway Corporation kind of come through. Uh, that power being restored, we've already talked about it, is a big deal, especially as we know it will get pretty hot today as people start cleaning up, but also not having power in those homes. It will get pretty hot inside those homes as well. Karen and Hayden, back to you. Crews hard at work on it already. In this mm. heat. All right, Journey, thank you for the perspective. That tree is incredible.